Before we start, I'd like to say something, so pay close attention. Throughout the video, I'm gonna be mentioning a lot of version 1.00, or just 1.0. So every time you hear me saying this, remember, I'm referring to the original version of Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 that was released in 2013. It has nothing to do with new-gen platforms. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about vehicle properties in GTA 5. So let's go. <laughs> So I think, first of all, we need to discuss the hardest ones, which are EC, EC2, EL and EC rims or EC2 rims. So all those properties have something to do with vehicle colors. So what I mean by that, let's start with the first one, EC. So EC means exclusive color. And what's important here is that EC means always an exclusive visible color. Now, many people believe that EC means special primary color. But in GTA 5, let's forget that immediately. EC means exclusive visible color. That's not important if it's a primary color, secondary color or rims color. We do not use EC for lusters, but we will discuss this a bit later. So exclusive color aka exclusive visible color. What should we know about it? What even is an exclusive color? Exclusive color has to follow a specific criteria. First step is that it must never appear in Los Santos Customs. Second step is that it must never appear in traffic. And thirdly, it must not have any additional appearances. Examples may be in-game shop or the Los Santos Luster Park, which I will explain a bit further later. So if a vehicle follows all steps from this criteria, it is an exclusive color. So immediately let's give you some examples because without examples it's confusing as hell. So let's take a look at the Saddler, our commonly used vehicle in those videos. So the 15th Saddler that spawns in traffic by the traffic default cycle which I explained in a previous video always spawns with util midnight blue body color. So this may easily brainwash you and you may think oh util color it is special, I'm gonna save this into my garage. Well, before you do this, take another look at our criteria. Yes, first step is passed. It does not exist in Los Santos Customs, hooray. But second step, what does it say? It says it must not appear in traffic. But uh, it's a traffic default, it spawns in traffic. So, this color is out. It is not exclusive color for Saddler. But let's say you find a Saddler from a mission, T-Railed. There we can see a saddler that is worn dark red. So let's take a look at the criteria. Worn dark red does not appear in Los Santos Customs. Check. Worn dark red saddler uh, is not anywhere found in the traffic default cycle. Check. So the third step. Additional appearances. Saddler cannot be bought from in-game shop. And since worn dark red here is a body color, you cannot do any luster box with Los Santos Customs as well. So. Hooray, this color is a perfect example of an exclusive color and you're free to save it in your garage. So when you hear a special vehicle collector mentioning an EC vehicle, it's pretty simple to understand that this vehicle has an exclusive visible color. So let me explain how I personally decided to use this so you don't confuse yourself with secondary and rim color. So if I want to say exclusive color for primary, I start my sentence with EC. I know that sounded pretty confusing right now, but let me give you an example. If let's say a Dubstar has an exclusive primary color, then I am saying EC Dubstar. Now, if a secondary color is exclusive and visible, then I am personally saying EC in the end of the sentence. So as we all know, secondary color of Dubstar is the roof and this little bottom part. So if Dubsta has an exclusive secondary color, I will be saying Dubsta with EC roof and bottom details for this. If you see a sentence formed like that, this means Dubsta's secondary color is special. Now if both primary and secondary are special for Dubsta, then I would be saying EC Dubsta with EC roof and bottom parts. I hope you understood that. Let's discuss rims quickly because it's very very simple. So for rims we are using the word rims. So let's go back to our previous example. If our Dubsta has EC rims then we will be saying 
top stop with EC rims. Or if it has other colors special as well, we would be saying EC top stop with EC roof and bottom details and EC rims. Pretty simple. Three ECs mentioned, three colors are special. So now let's discuss the other property, EC2. So if some of you haven't figured it out already, EC2 is used only when the color is invisible. Again, if you have played 3D GDAs, forget the idea that this means secondary color, that this is not the case. This applies to any invisible color. So if you see something as EC2, then be ready that this vehicle has an invisible color to the player. Those kinds of vehicles are pretty useless for the player if you care about visual look of vehicle because you have no opportunity to ever visually see EC2 unless you take a look at this vehicle in a trainer or a save editor. So if our vehicle has a special primary color, special secondary color, which is invisible, good example here is the Saddler, let's bring that back again, then we would be saying EC flash EC2 Saddler. This means Saddler has two special colors, EC and EC2, but since one is EC2, you will only be seeing one color. So example may be, let's say you see on YouTube that we mention EC flash EC2 matte green flash metallic dark silver benzen, then this means EC applies to matte green and EC2 applies to metallic dark silver. So metallic dark silver is benzen's invisible secondary and you will never be able to visually see it. But it's still there and it's special because it follows all steps of our criteria, not in Los Angeles customs, not in traffic and does not have additional appearances. So for rims, as we discussed before, if a vehicle has exclusive colored rims, we say vehicle with EC rims. But a rim color is tricky. Sometimes a rim color may be invisible as well, as we also discussed in a previous video. So if a wheel color happens to be invisible to the player, we will say with EC2 rims. Simple. Now, but. There are two ways how GTA 5 Special Week YouTubers are using this EC2 and EC rims thing. So I personally always stick with EC rims as long as there is a way to make wheels visible. Let's say Polar has invisible stock rims. You might want to say EC2 rims for it, but I personally prefer saying EC rims because you can always drive this into LS Customs and make your rims visible by modding the rim type. But Los Santos Customs is not the only way to make your wheel color visible. On some cars you can use the EM conversion. Don't confuse yourself, we will cover EM conversion in the further future. EM conversion can be reversed, so if you don't want EC rims anymore, you can safely always convert them back to the stock wheels. The conversion keeps an original exclusive color, however, in Los Santos Customs, changing back to stock rims always gives you the useless ally color. But Little Vaccine, for example, has chosen to call invisible stock rims EC2 as well. So if you see him saying EC2 rims, don't always think that you can never see this color. For me it is a bit confusing, so I decided to use EC2 rims only when you can never, ever make your wheel color visible. So the perfect example here may be the Frogger. As we all know this is a helicopter, but if you listen to my previous video, we all know that each vehicle in GTA 5 has four colors. So yes, even helicopters have four colors and a wheel color. So on helicopter there is absolutely no way to see your rim color even if it's some wacky conversion, so in that case I will call wheels EC2. This is the only case, but yes, I will repeat it again. If there is a way to make your wheel colors visible, I will always be using EC. So if you see my video title with EC rims, then remember, you have a chance to make this car's wheel color visible. So now we have the third and most difficult exclusive color property to discuss. And that is the EL. So EL means exclusive luster or exclusive pearl scent. So here again, different GTA 5 special week YouTubers have chosen a different path. Since there aren't many of us 
around, I'm, I have to bring Little Vaccine as example again. So Little Vaccine has chosen to say EC for the vehicle that has exclusive luster. Well, he isn't like wrong or something. Calling those vehicles is just a tiny bit misleading. You see, when you call exclusive luster vehicle EC, then it's perfectly fine in GTA 4 or in its episodes. Since if uh, a vehicle has an exclusive luster, then obviously luster covers the body and it's an exclusive color. But in GTA 5, it may cause some problems if you say EC for the exclusive luster vehicle. So that is why I brought in the property EL. If I'd say a vehicle has is EC in GTA 5, then a player may think that he or she is free to drive into LS Customs and give this vehicle a very cool luster. But uh, when he or she does that, they don't realize that they're actually deleting the special luster. So that is why I think it's important for this property to be called EL. So players immediately understand that this means luster and you must not touch that in Los Santos Customs. So alongside with that, we need to discuss one more thing. As you have sometimes noticed, if you scroll down a metallic menu in Los Santos Customs, you are seeing different different shines on your vehicles, something that isn't seen in classic menu. That is because a specific luster comes with each metallic color. So whenever you paint your car metallic black, it always gets applied a metallic gunmetal luster. It just is like that. You cannot do anything about it other than go to Pearl Set menu and change it. But by default, it always has this gunmetal luster. And this applies to every single color. They all have their own specific lusters. Some of which are not appearing in Los Santos Pearl Set menu. But this is not the topic for today's video. Just a fun fact for now. So yes, from our gunmetal discussion we just had, it should indicate for you already that primary color and luster have a deep connection. So now is the point when I'm warning you. If your vehicle has an EL property, then alongside with the fact that you must never touch the luster in Los Santos Customs, you must never also touch primary color. Because if you edit a primary color, you will also lose the luster simply because primary color has such a deep love with luster. Whenever you edit primary, you will get a default luster that is set on this Los Santos Customs color. Let's say you have matte orange Sadler. Matte orange on Sadler is not special, you can always do that in Los Santos Customs. But let's say this Sadler has util blue luster. So you may think you will change it to metallic black, it looks cooler, util blue luster looks much better. But if you go ahead and do that, you're gonna immediately notice that you get this useless gun metal luster and your util blue is gone. That is not a problem, vice versa though, as I think I mentioned before in the video as well. If your vehicle primary color is special and luster isn't, then this connection isn't so strong. And you can always change the luster on your special body color. This will not cause any problems. So one obvious note for all the smart heads, if your vehicle has special body color and special luster, then obviously you mustn't ever touch primary and pearl scent. So in short, if the title starts with EC, like EC Saddler, then you must never touch the primary color. If EC is in the end of the sentence, like Tapsta with EC roof and bottom, then you must never touch secondary color. And obviously if there are rims mentioned, like Tapsta with EC or EC2 rims, then you must never touch rims color. And last one, if your vehicle is EL, like EL Tapsta, then you must not touch both luster and primary. And obviously if a vehicle is EC2, like EC2 Saddler, then you can touch any color because you can never see this EC2 anyways. You can never have a danger of accidentally modding it because you can never mod an invisible color. So secondly, let's talk about properties EE and NE. So what they mean are exclusive extra and no extra. So obviously it has something to do with extras and we need to explain those. So if you have driven around the map in GTA 5, you have surely noticed several vehicles with different appearances. The easiest example here might be the taxi. So you have surely noticed that taxi may have different roof light designs. 
So instead of just making three separate models for the taxi, Rockstar has solved the issue with extras. And not just in GTA 5, this is actually the very old thing to GTA ever since GTA 3. So whenever a taxi spawns, a random extra aka roof light is picked and placed on its roof. So how do we get exclusive extra and no extra out of it? For exclusive extra, we cannot use taxi. And let's discuss this a bit later. But we can use no extra for taxi. So in order to force taxi appear with different roof lights, game script has to turn specific extras on or off. So if taxi spawns with big roof light, then big roof light is turned on and small roof light is turned off. When it spawns with small roof light, it is the opposite. Big roof light is off and small one is on. So what happens if they both are turned off? That is the point when we get no extra. And that is a special property because we can never see a taxi with no roof light. Yeah, sure, we can always see that when we crash our taxi, but in such case we can always drive into Los Angeles Customs and repair it or go to our garage and it gets repaired magically. But on the real deal no extra taxi, whatever you do, you will never get this light back because it's always turned off. And that is the no extra special property. Pretty simple to understand. So in short, no extra is a special property which appears when normal extras are for some reason turned off. But now the exclusive extra property. So if I'm not mistaken, this should be pretty much a GTA 5 exclusive thing. In many GTA 5 missions, vehicles appear with special objects. Easiest examples here, in marriage counseling, the person you're using for the mission has winch in the back to pull a house down and in complications, a PJ has Michael inside who's gonna point a gun on your head. So how do those things appear on those vehicles? Well, that is the exclusive extra. So yes, the winch and so-called Michael are both vehicles exclusive extras. So there is a small confusion regarding this. For example, when you take a look at some heist preparation vehicles like FIB, which has the carbon rifles in the back, or, or the barracks, which has the military hardware in the back. But those, I understand that it may be difficult to get it, but yes, those are just props, which cannot be saved in your garage, but exclusive extra can be saved. So yes, it is a bit confusing, because both props and exclusive extras basically look like the same thing. They serve the same purpose. So actually I'm not able to explain why are some things appearing as props and some as extras. This is a mystery, but actually a pretty cool mystery. Because if Winch and Michael were props, we could never have those exclusive extra vehicles. But the fact that you may not be so aware of is that most commercial trucks have their liveries as extras. Not liveries, don't confuse yourself. The ads you can see on those trucks here are not liveries, those are extras. Again, like uh, the issue with props and extras, don't ask. I don't understand why has Rockstar chosen to make those ads appear as extras, not liveries, because they could easily be liveries like they are on branded burritos. Confusing, but again, confusing positively. Since thanks to this, we can also have exclusive ads on trucks. But yeah, so far only on benzen. So let's use the benzen as an example. So in traffic, four liveries aka extras this time can appear. Those are the benzens you can see. No extra benzen is not available unless you're using a conversion, which I will also cover much later in the future. When we take a look at benzen liveries aka extras inside a mod, we can see that it actually has seven liveries, not just four. One is the 24-7 livery cut from the game for some unknown reason. The second one is also a cut livery, Pops Pills, also cut for unknown reasons. And the seventh livery is the blank livery that is used on old gen platforms on the livery benson of your properties. Possibly 
branded pensions for your properties would be misleading since you are not working for those companies. That is also the reason I don't get why they remove blank livery for new gen. So if one of those three cut liveries appears on the pension, they are exclusive extras. So yes, the blank livery for old gen is just a rare exclusive extra because property missions always repeat themselves. So far we have never seen 24-7 livery anywhere in the game, but Pop Spills Benson appears in our very famous jewel heist. So if you obtain this Benson, then you're freely accessing one and only, one time only exclusive extra Benson. Since it is an ad that covers most of the vehicle, it is also the biggest exclusive extra we can find in the game. Just a little side fact, as you noticed, I did not cover one topic when discussing no extras, I just mentioned what happens if you turn all extras off, but I did not say what happens if you turn all extras on. I did not cover this because this property is not important and not existing in GTA 5, but it's doing a sick work on special vehicles in GTA 4 and its episodes, so I just thought it's a cool little fact to mention. If you turn all extras on on a vehicle, you get a hybrid vehicle. It has a similar nature to lustered vehicles, same way as lustered vehicles tamper with colors, hybrid tampers with extras. But since it is a confusing and very detailed property, and it's not existing in GTA 5, I will not explain this. I will just say that if you're interested, you can download the trainer and actually make pretty cool hybrid vehicles with the trainer. So now that we've covered all the harder properties in GTA 5, let's talk about simpler ones. And let's start with properties that are connected to vehicle tires. So the first property is PP, which means pop proof, or formally called bulletproof tires. So yes, this is basically what it means. Tires cannot be popped by gunfire. But there is a reason why bulletproof tires was replaced with pop proof. Since you see, in GTA 5, Pop-proof tires are not just immune to bullets. Pop-proof tires in GTA 5 can withstand fire, bullets, road spikes and burnouts. Basically nothing can ever pop pop-proof tires in GTA 5. So it is actually a pretty cool property, but what makes it rare is the fact that you can always add pop-proof tires on your vehicle in Los Santos Customs under the bulletproof tires option. So obviously what it means is that pop-proof is only special on vehicles which cannot enter Los Santos Customs. Mostly they are trucks or emergency vehicles. So the pop proof property may not feel very impressive simply due to the fact that uh, such option exists in Los Santos Customs. Yes, you can never do that on trucks, but still you can generally see how bulletproof or pop proof tires feel in the game when modifying a small traffic car. So when you obtain a truck with pop proof tires, you already know what kind of vehicle you're getting. And it, and it lacks a moment of surprise. What might be interesting to mention here, actually pop proof can be part of vehicle traffic default preset. For example, all helicopters in the game are always pop proof when you find those. Which means if you obtain a pop proof helicopter from the mission, it is not special since pop proof is never special for helicopters in the game. And once you store helicopters on helipad, pop proof gets automatically applied on it. It is usually also the case for other such vehicles which actually don't have any tires like Rhino, Dozer or the Rusty Tractor. So the second property that has everything to do with tires is the Black Tire Smoke property. Now this property is only exclusive to 1.0 version. This property is not special and does not exist in any later version. So the idea of black tire smoke property is basically the same as bulletproof tires. Black tire smoke aka BTS vehicles have a special black tire smoke that is also present in Los Santos Customs under black tire smoke option. So the nature of this property is basically the same as pot proof. It is only special on vehicles which cannot enter Los Santos Customs. This property so far only exists on switch vehicles and since most of the switch vehicles are cars that can enter Los Santos Customs, this property is not special on them, which makes black tire smoke property really, really rare. 
So here are some facts about Popproof and Black Tire Smoke. They both have issues on version 1.0. If you try to save a Popproof vehicle in the safehouse garage in 1.0 version, Popproof tires will never save. You need to store your Popproof vehicle into your 4 car garage or in impound. Now the Black Tire Smoke property is the exact opposite. For 1.0 version it will not save in impounds and 4 car garage which means you need to save your black tire smoke into a safe house garage which means you now have to face a difficult decision. You need to pick between pop proof and black tire smoke because on version 1.0 you can never have both. I would personally choose black tire smoke only since it's exclusive to 1.0 and I can have pop proof in any later version anyways and pop proof does not just exist on switch vehicles which means I can always get black tire smoke property on switch vehicles and pop proof on something else so yes you can sadly never have them both on the same vehicle all switch vehicles are pop proof and black tire smoke at the same time this issue was fixed for all later versions black tire smoke is now completely gone Pop proof still remains on switch vehicles, but now it can be saved in any garage so you don't have to make any tough choices. And yes, remember, pop proof and black tire smoke are only special on vehicles which can not enter Los Santos Customs. So now we have to discuss vehicle plates. So the license plates in GTA 5 can be exclusive plates. I personally do not do it, but some people prefer to divide exclusive plate property into three different versions. First of which is the UP aka unique plate, the second is set plate and the third is blank plate. So first let's discuss what do license plates in GTA 5 naturally look like. So all license plates you see on GTA 5 map have a common pattern. As you can see all license plates spawn with two numbers, three letters and three numbers. And they are randomized on every vehicle. So the unique plate shows us something completely different than this pattern. As you can see here, I'm showing a unique plate. It has letters and numbers completely mixed. It has a space over here. It doesn't even have eight characters on it, which obviously means it's a unique plate. Completely obvious to notice and definitely worth saving. So the second plate type is set plate. Now this one is more complicated because it looks exactly like a traffic plate. It follows the traffic pattern, two numbers, three letters and three numbers. As you can see here, I'm showing a set plate, which looks exactly like a traffic plate. But why do I personally think it's still worth mentioning? Whenever you see a set plate in mission, it always reads exactly the same. Whenever you do this mission, whatever platform you're playing on, how many times you reload the mission or a game, even if you uninstall the game and reinstall the game, it still reads the same. So the set plate is actually something similar to set colored vehicle but differently from our 160 colors in the game the odds of finding an exact match to our set plate from traffic are just way too low. Meanwhile we can always drive our vehicle into Los Angeles Customs and get those colors any day to replicate a set colored vehicle. So I'd say even if you really wanted to and drive around for ages on GTA 5 map you will never find the same plate. It is technically and mathematically possible, but it will just never happen due to very very low odds. So this is the only property in GTA 5 that I allow people choose personally if it's special or not. And the third type is the blank plate. Now this property is exclusive only to version 1.0. This does not exist in later patches. So blank plate is exclusive to switch vehicles again. All switch vehicles have blank plate on version 1.0 and understanding this plate type is very very obvious. As you can see here I'm showing a blank plate and it is blank. It has nothing on it except the red San Andreas title. So this plate type is actually pretty cool and I consider this one worth saving. So moving on to the next property which is EM and it means exclusive modification. So this property is very very simple to understand. So the exclusive modification means it's either a modification not found in Los Santos Customs or is equipped on a vehicle which normally cannot enter the matcha. So the exclusive modification can be explained easily with North Yankton plate type because the North Yankton plate type is an exclusive modification on vehicles like Saddler and Rancher because those can enter Los Santos Customs once you obtain them and their plate tape can be changed. So once you modify it, it is lost and you can never get it back again. 
but the most known place where EM property comes into use is the EM conversion which we discussed earlier in this video. To attach an exclusive modification with this conversion, it requires you to modify a normal vehicle in Los Angeles Customs, then do a trick which transfers those modifications on a vehicle that cannot be modded, resulting in pretty cool effects like this police cruiser over here or this truck with blue lights. The next property we can discuss is the AP. Now this property in GTA 5 is only exclusive to the new gen versions. It actually does exist in previous versions as well, but you cannot have any vehicles which have this property. However, on new gen you can, and AP means all proof. Those who have played 3D GTA games know that there were properties like bulletproof, fireproof, damage proof, explosion proof, and in San Andreas also melee proof. So basically all those properties together make an AP aka all proof vehicle which is immune to basically everything. With an only exception in HD version, if you ram your vehicle it will still take cosmetic damage although the health of the vehicle is not training, while it usually would when you ram your vehicle as much as I do right now. So in short again, AP vehicle will be immune to bullets, fire, explosions, melee attacks and collisions. And all proof vehicles can only be saved after the new gen exclusive AP conversion and those vehicles are always rare. All proof vehicles also include pop proof property by default. Actually it is not the actual pop proof property if you take a look at AP vehicle in a trainer or save editor it does not say the vehicle is pop proof although if you shoot the vehicle it is. That is actually the bulletproof effect of AP property since bullets cannot damage an AP vehicle, obviously tires have to withstand them as well. And very important note here, AP vehicles in GTA 5 save in safe house garage only. AP is always lost in 4 car garage or in impound. And since the 1.0 version has the issue of not saving pop proof property, then if we would get an AP vehicle in this version, it would probably never save for us. So AP property will always be a patches thing. So we have yet one more property we should really talk about and that is the unique property. So the unique property is the most obvious property that could ever exist in GTA 5. Unique property obviously means that a vehicle is unique aka its model is unique. Easy examples here may be unique Meriwether Mesa, the Ludemol van, the unique wheat pony, all three unique helicopters in the game, all snow vehicles and some patch based vehicles like Patty 801RR, AC and Space Tucker. There are many more like Cargo Plane and Clown Van but uh, there is no point to talk about those because the general idea is easy to understand and obvious. Yes indeed some vehicles like wheat pony exist in property missions rendering them a rare unique vehicles. Yeah, rare unique vehicles, I know, right? But the point is, you, you must do a mission or activity to find one, since it's a unique model and it only appears when the mission script says that it has to. So I'd like to discuss one more thing, and I think that Properties video is a perfect place for it. And that is inferior and superior vehicles. So in special vehicles world, it's quite inevitable that special vehicles share some properties, while one of them is more special and one of them is less special, thus worse. So in case the vehicle is worse, it is inferior. And there are two types of inferior vehicles in GTA 5. First of which is a tiny bit better type. And that mostly applies to vehicles which have the special property which cannot be modified in Los Santos Customs. It mostly affects trucks and vans, but not always. Well, example here may be the Burrito, one found in Jewel Heist has exclusive secondary color metallic black, it is lustered and it has a unique license plate, while in the mission Caida Libre is a burrito van with the same exclusive secondary metallic black color and is also lustered, but it lacks the unique license plate. So in general the Caida Libre burrito is worse, but it's still different since you can always get the jewel heist burrito but you can never take the exclusive plate away to make Caida Libre Burrito. So technically having both isn't much of a problem. One is easy to lustered with a random plate 
and the other one is easy to luster with a special plate. But now the other type of inferior vehicles, those are something which I really suggest avoiding. Good example here is Tailgater, found after the mission complications inside Simeon's dealership. So there you can find two Tailgaters, one of them is yellow and one of them is blue and they both have exclusive white rims, same color. But the yellow Tailgater is also EL, it has a matte yellow luster, meanwhile blue is just a metallic surf blue and it has no special colors except just the rims. So in this case you can just obtain the yellow tailgater and if you wish you can always duplicate it and go paint the duplicated vehicle surf blue in Los Angeles Customs, add surf blue luster on it and you can easily just create yellow one into this blue one so there is absolutely no point to ever get this blue tailgater separately in your save. It's just a waste of space which technically isn't different at all from yellow tailgater. It has special white rims exactly like tailgater and just some random Los Santos customs colors instead of the special yellow one. So for the end of the video I'm gonna be telling you that pop proof, black tire smoke, plate and exclusive modification properties may be all invisible to the player similarly to how the color property was. For example switch vehicles in the game include this red frogger over here and on version 1.0 it has pop proof, blank plate and black, black tire smoke properties as well as exclusive modification because on lustered vehicles all plate types are set to be plate type 2 but on helicopters in the game all their license plates are plate type 3 so it is an invisible exclusive modification property and obviously blank plate property the pop proof property and black tire smoke are all invisible. But they can always be seen when taking a look at this frogger in save editor or with mods. So I really hope this video enlightened you a bit about vehicle properties in GTA 5. As you noticed I did not cover one property which is lustered. But since it's so complicated and the most difficult property in GTA 5 to understand, I will be doing a separate video for it. And this will be the next video, so see you in another video. Thank you all for watching. If you guys like this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button and also make sure to click that notification bell to hear about everything related to GTA 5 special vehicles.